please don't send any hate to the designers because I see a lot of no. people in the comments saying sending hate to the designers. I'm like, they're yeah, no. budget and they did the best they could. So. Well, here we are because it's season two. We didn't even know we were quitting season one, but uh, we are back and it's been so long. 100% my fault. Do not come after John and Chloe on this, but we are back for our, I'm using air quotes for the people who are listening to us, uh, season two of Out of the Box with Johnny, Chloe, and I, of course. And how are the two of you doing? It's been so long. I've been doing good, you guys. I mean, as good as a person can be, right? In mm -hmm. this economy, as good mm -hmm. as it can be. Um, yeah, I've just been, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, my, <laughs> not me laughing, but like um, trauma. <laughs> <laughs> laughing through the trauma. No, um, a while back, my grandma actually passed away. She oh. lived in Mexico and she passed away. And then during the same time, my grandpa from my mom's side uh, he was really, really sick. So we dealt with that, um, I want to say maybe like two, three weeks ago or so. So that that was going on in my family. But other oh, than yeah, that, sorry. it's just been me and my dolls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I, I feel like as us as doll collectors, we kind of go, you know what? Something really, something's going on, right? There's something going on in our lives, but we, at least we have that little bit of escapism that we can have where we can like look at our dolls you know, take a moment to kind of just not think about all the heavy stuff, even if it is just for a little bit of time. So, well, well, hopefully, I mean, how, how are you doing, Johnny? <laughs> We're starting with <laughs> such a chipper uh, oh my goodness. season two here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've also just been here um, not collecting dolls as much. I guess this is mm -hmm. what the topic of this episode is, but it's been very slow in the doll collecting I guess, realm. I've been customizing. I've shown Chloe oh. some pictures of what I've been doing. And it, I was going to show it here, but I don't think she's ready. I'll show you oh. after. But oh, yeah, okay. I've been, I've been since Shadow High, I don't know if it's gone or anything, but I've been making my own Shadow High dolls now. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I've that. been planning and that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to piece together dolls to make more Shadow High dolls because I don't want it to go away. So anyone at MGA, please keep it. <laughs> That's what, that's what I've been up that. to. I've seen a lot. Of, now that you said that, I do see a lot of people talking and like trying to customize. I just saw a nostalgic dolls, Maddie from there from uh, doing, what is it? A Harlequin custom. Oh, I saw it. It was really one. good. Yeah, when I, I was saw like, that, I, I thought she bought it. Then she said she made him like, wow. I that's what I thought so too. Mm -hmm. I was I like, oh, that's it. cool. She bought that figure. And then I'm like, it, uh, what? She made it? What? Mm -hmm. She okay. ate. She ate. She mm -hmm. ate. Isn't she, she studying agree. to be in like toy designing and stuff like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if she wants to get into just like the design portion art, you know, but I know that's what she, that's like a goal of hers from what I'm speaking. The, when the I'm creating, talking. I mean, she could create some good dolls. So, oh, yeah. No, I mean, I was again floored with how great, especially that being like their first one. I was kind of like, oh, wow. And I'm, I'm looking know, at like some stuff I'm I've saying. made with like Sharpies and I'm like, no. <laughs> same girl, same. <laughs> So we definitely, I mean, obviously everyone has seen the title that there is a doll drought upon us a little bit. And for some collectors, I, I know they're probably going to be a little confused by that where they're like, oh, well, no, there's new dolls coming out, which is true. And we are going to touch on a few of the new dolls today. Um, Like Far Out Toys is releasing a line called Live. This is the first time they're doing that. And then of course we have, you know, Monster High dolls coming out. Lenore recently, we have a new Fang Vote operetta. So there are dolls coming out. But I just, and I know the two, th you know, the three of us here feel that it's just not, not as wild as it was last year or the year before. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like that's kind of where we're at. It just doesn't feel as wild of releases. Definitely. I feel that way, especially with the quality of dolls that are being released. Like we, we really had it good with Rainbow High. We were spoiled with Rainbow High. And like now the dolls are still good. They're still good, but it's not what we used to have. And I don't know, for me personally, Monster High isn't doing it for quality and stuff, and especially with the prices. So it is definitely a drought here with doll releases. It is pretty slow. So hopefully it picks back up, hopefully, but who knows? Yeah, no, I agree with you. I have not been 
collecting G3 Monster High or even original Monster High dolls lately just because I have to put them all in storage. I don't have space to display them. So it defeats the purpose for me personally to like buy a doll to just put it away. Like it's kind of sad. I want to at least enjoy it and I can't. So I kind of just slowed down with Monster High. Not that they're like horrible, but also like... I just, I don't have the space. I don't have the money. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I did really want pre-production Abby. I wanted her so bad. Because, I mean, I wanted them all. But I was like, if I can only get one, I'm going to get Abby. And I missed her. So, there. That was my sign. You're not getting <laughs> her, girl. <laughs> I mean, I've even... <laughs> I completely forgot about those. Yeah, the pre-productions just got released a week ago. Ago, week and a half ago or so mm-hmm. and those sold out obviously very very quickly i do feel like that launch was better like i think more people had the opportunity to buy it than the original four creep productions that got released oh, way better i never way even better. saw in stores not a, i only saw yeah. one laguna at like 10 walmarts that i went to and her box was busted so i didn't even get mm-hmm. her so mm-hmm. i never saw those I, I was able to get claudine frankie and laguna at walmart and the only one that I needed to get was Draculaura, and I never found her. And Draculaura, you guys know, people go feral for her. So, oh. yeah. yeah. I mean, I hope, I do hope they end up releasing more, whether it's through Amazon or if they do hit local retailers, just to give more people the opportunity to buy them that missed out on the original ones 10 years ago, you know? Uh, for me, yeah, I ended up not getting any of the new ones. Uh, obviously, I was lucky enough to get the first Creep Productions, but these ones, I just... Honestly, I forgot. I completely did not even remember that everybody's like, they're on Amazon. They're sold out da, 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 that day. And I was like, oh, they did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I assumed kinda, they would. I assumed I they would. I kind of wanted them, them, but it's so stressful to get Monster High stuff. I'm like, I'm not even going to put myself through that stress because <laughs> it is crazy. So mm-hmm. I just like, you know what? It is what it is. It That's is what, what it is. That I'm so glad you said that because that is what turns me off on Monster High. The stress, the having to be like this on 50 different devices, just trying to get one doll. And I'm just like, I can't deal with that, mama. Stress is already a thing with me. I'm not going to, for a doll, no. For a doll that, for one doll, no. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll pass. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. Like, I, like, I I honestly thought Lenore, because Lenore came out three weeks ago now think and i i was honestly was assuming that she was gonna sell out just because a monster high boom it sells sell out right but i think at the price point of 75 dollars, i think so many people were just like you know what mm-hmm. this is just a little too much and i think she's cute i like the little spider i like the little candle earrings um i enjoyed the tears on the face i thought that was really really cool the little like nods to a girl and poe i thought that was awesome i just feel like it just didn't hit for some reason i don't know if it was the packaging i felt like if it came in the coffin shaped like hard expensive boxes I could, okay you know I could see something but it was just the box was basic and I just so I can totally see why a lot of people passed on that doll did the two of you pass on that doll yeah I passed on her like, um $75 <laughs> that's a lot of money for me right now so I had to pass on her based on that she's giving um not to be rude, but she's giving special edition uh, release playline for Monster High back in 2000, you know, mm-hmm. whenever they did a, a little collection, there will always be that okay. one doll that was just a little bit more expensive and mm-hmm. just a, she's giving that. So I was just like, mm. I could see her coming out like someone posted that doll next to the Gloom and Bloom dolls and she has almost that same kind of aesthetic. And for me, I was kind of like, I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, that doll could have been released in that line for like 30 bucks. And I would have just assumed it was a part of that collection. Oh, and even and I, I love the storyline. I love what, uh, you know, the what they designed and they put together for that doll. Like, I, I thought that was, again, I love Edgar Allan Poe, so I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. But again, it just didn't hit, it didn't check all the boxes for me. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think Monster High right now with the G1, I guess, like bodies and face sculpts. They're really playing on that nostalgia feeling. So I feel like every single doll that's being released, that's like quote unquote G1, aside from the creep productions, they're all just going to be $50 or more at this point for her doll, which is insane. Um, You know, just I don't have that budget for that. So I have to cut out Monster High for my collecting for right now, you know? 
which is okay, which is yeah. good because I still yeah. I'm still you know trying to complete these girls behind me. For people who can't see me, it's Rainbow High <laughs> <laughs> and Shadow High, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, now I'm in the same boat too, where I. I have been trying to complete all of my Rainbow High Shadow High stuff. And those, honestly, the prices on some of them, people are finding some of these Rainbow High dolls and Shadow High ones for like $5, $7. Not in my area, but like- oh, Not in my area either. Trust and believe. They're still Same. 37 I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I would be buying, and there's somebody, like, I honestly, like, obviously I've talked to other people. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to think, I'm like, do I talk to other people? I'm like, not really. But the few people I do communicate with, Me. they're like, oh, I buy like three or four of each one. And I was like, that's kind of what I've been doing because what I'm doing now is like just changing their outfits and having like three or four of the same doll yes. with different outfits because mm -hmm. the quality is just so good, especially for seven dollars. Yeah, six. that's what I did with the Shadow High uh, series three. I got a comp another set and gave them completely different outfits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bought a bunch mm -hmm. too with that Target sale. They were ten dollars. Yes, that's, I, what, that's bought... what I did. But now <laughs> they're seven. Now they're seven. Yes. <gasps> yes. Which I'm com I'm I'm like I hope I can find another Scarlet to give her another look because you guys know I really loved Scarlet from C Shadow High Series three so I don't know I might have to get a, a few doubles just to have fun with them. Mm -hmm. I know that there's such a good deal it's out so there good. and yeah. for anyone out there listening, if you find an Eliza for ten dollars or less, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I've no, I, I've been I've been seeing a lot of people find that uh is instant right play. She does oh. such a good job of keeping people like posted. Yes. She Shout has out. been finding them so good. She found the Madison Twin Pack for fifteen dollars. Um, oh she found a costume ball for like ten dollars, eight dollars. What a dream! Right now, she just posted the Shadow High series three for seven, seven. and the blind boxes for one dollar. That's what insane. event. That is insane yeah. to me. That is cheaper she's than been, Dollar Tree. <laughs> yes. She's been finding such good deals. Also, um, I think it was, was it the Fashion Fates? They posted the costume ball dolls that they found for $10. Oh, yeah. They got a bunch. I was eight. like, yes. I need some. Such good deal. I mean, my Walmart suck. Nothing on sale. Nothing less than yeah, like mine was, um... nothing. <laughs> The costume balls were dropped to 27 and they've been 27 yeah, for like three or four weeks. And same. they said that they normally leave it that price for about a month and then they might drop it. So next week I might go back. And if they do, then I'll pick some extra ones up for us. But mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> what they have. But yeah, I checked last week and they still haven't dropped them down yet. So, mm. but yeah. for those of you out there listening, definitely start checking your Walmarts and areas because the Rainbow High Shadow Eye dolls are going super, super cheap. It seems like it's like they're just being wiped out and it makes me really sad because the quality again is I, I agree for that price point mind-blowing and then you look at like the new fang vote operettas coming out um i believe tomorrow the 12th is it coming out the 12th i have no by idea by the time this airs so. tomorrow, anyways friday yeah i think it's i think it's yeah. coming out see i don't even know the dates anymore that's how Girl, i am um i my initial reaction to her was i actually kind of thought she was cute it does give me a lot of moments from just original operetta and yes. I kind of liked it. I know some people were saying it's a little too pink. I know they didn't like the placement placement of the eyebrows. She looked cute though. Again, would I? Is she? Do we have a price point on her? Is she fifty or seventy? She's fifty. And she's fifty. Okay, that sounds better to me. Because Gulia was also fifty. I yeah, believe, she's last part. Year. Of, she's she's the same like box as Gulia. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. See, that doesn't sound as bad. Like I know it's still fifty dollars, but you do need the membership, but... so it's ten dollars if you don't have it. Oh, yeah, sixty dollars. Because I, I think, don't think and then you do pay too. shipping, so it comes out <laughs> to like seventy or something like that. Which I don't uh -huh. know why Mattel Creations does not offer free shipping. Either for members or when you spend a certain amount. Agreed. To me, Agreed. that is like really, that's really greedy. Especially if you're already paying for a membership. Yeah. yeah like, that part I don't understand is the free shipping thing. Because even, I, I forgot what I was looking at. I think I was looking at some makeup. And it was only like $15. But they were like, oh, free shipping since you're buying this extra like sponge thing. And I'm like, I'm only spending like $15 and they're offering me free shipping. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> So that part I kind of agree with there. Like initially when the whole like fang vote thing started, I, I didn't really, I was kind of like impartial. I was like, well, if you're buying the doll, ten whatever, you know, but now kind of like they should give some incentive to get, you know, again, free shipping is not that much if they, because they it's all done based off of contracts with these companies. So if they did a contract with like FedEx or UPS or whomever, they could work out something, I feel. Which I'm sure 
I'm sure they they could. They're a really big yeah. company. I'm sure they could. Like, girl, mm-hmm. like, give the free. Sh- I know it, I'm like crying about free shipping, but for me, truly, that makes or breaks my purchase. Because if I'm already paying fifty for the doll plus taxes, that's already going to come out to around sixty dollars. Yeah, and then I have to pay another like what ten between seven and ten dollars for shipping. I'm like, and the ten dollar. The and the membership yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Up. Mm-hmm. i'm just saying like if you're gonna buy a membership it should come with more perks than just oh you're gonna get an exclusive doll once a year or whatever the case might be like i was thinking they I were going know. to do more because um again i'm not completely you know new to like clubs my mom and i did join you know the barbie collector club back in the day when that was a thing and you know but it was consistent like you would get like flyers consistently you would get you know exclusive offers consistently like there's a lot of stuff so i kind of assumed when they were doing the fang vote thing and when this all started which i can't believe it's already been what over gosh over a year that i was like oh it'd be like little things right like th- like once a month maybe they'll release like exclusive stickers exclusive little shirts or something that you know something and i feel like it's just been like oh you get one doll once a year that will let you buy because you have the ten dollar thing and i was like oh well that's not again it's not that much of an incentive it's mm-hmm. not driving me to want that and yeah. now that we calculated the, the prices we mathed right so the dolls now upright is like closer to like 70 bucks i'm like i'm good i'm good i'm not gonna get her yeah, yeah she's i don't know she doesn't look like a doll that's 50 dollars. i if she released when monster high was at peak she would be playline price she looks yeah. like a 30 like those dolls that were like in the bigger box like the 30 dollar like katrine yeah like, and stuff like that you know and caddy the, mm-hmm. I feel like they would she would be 30 Mm-hmm. yeah i mean yeah. again it's just the economy yeah. where we're at though in toy and doll collecting if, like again i know we sound like broken records we've said this on other podcast episodes but it's true everything is just so expensive to make manufacture mm-hmm. design a little bit i know is greed of the company because they know people are fans that they're going to spend the money anyways to buy it but i think a lot of it does come down to well price points and that's what mm-hmm. they're doing i mean look at mga all three of us love rainbow high shadow high but look at rainbow world for 25 dollars, they're giving us that now <laughs> look at that yeah <laughs> and, yeah, and that's sense. the standard yeah. now unfortunately and and it's sad but i don't i don't like it so yeah, i, I, definitely I think don't we're like in our, our little bit of our drought season right now as it's yeah, pouring yeah. rain outside but it is a drop. Oh, yeah, but especially <laughs> since you're saying that with like the design stuff, please don't send any hate to the designers because I see a lot of no. people in the comments saying sending hate to the designers. I'm like, they're yeah, no. budget and they did the best they could. So just yes, just be kind. If you don't like, yeah, something, it's okay not to like something, but just yeah. don't send hate anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I think my, it, my anger is at yeah. the like manufacturing prices, mm-hmm. the you know cargo shipping like all this other stuff and it just trickles down from people just being greedy at the top you know and it just trickles no, down yeah, so because i, I see comments that people great. are like we need to fire the designers and this i'm like no, they're, no. yeah given the budget they did the best with what they could yeah like the designs are giving monster high that has nothing to do with me not wanting to buy that i mean it has a little bit to do right if it's not my taste obviously but for me it's more about like the money and everything because at the end of the day you need money to buy the dolls which if you're only collecting Monster High, good for you, because then you're able to afford these, I'm sure. But I'm also collecting other things. So, mm-hmm. like, you have to, like, set a budget for everything. Unfortunately, $50 for one doll is not going to cut it in my budget yeah. right now. So, yeah. it just comes down to that. And, I mean, if you're a really huge Operetta fan and you wanted a new Operetta doll for years, this is your moment. It just just yeah. like the Gulia. Uh, yeah. Just like the Gulia. I knew I had to have her. I had always wanted like a really nice Gulia. And there she goes. There mm-hmm. I got her. Vampire Hard Dracula Laura. I, you know, oh, made it happen. Gosh. And I do not regret it at all. But obviously it just comes down to your personal budget and mm-hmm. your personal style. It has nothing to do with the designer or anything mm-hmm. like that. So I, I totally yeah. agree with that. Cause I love uh, you know, shout out to Rebecca 13 for, you know, working so hard on Lenore. I mm-hmm. just feel like if she had a higher budget, the doll would have been mind blowing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. That's what I, I'm kind of sad about. Cause I, again, watching her and having, you know, seeing her on Instagram talk about it, like, I'm like, ooh, Mattel just didn't give her a little more. <laughs> because <laughs> the concept i thought was great i love again i love Edgar Allan poe i love the whole idea the the tears you know I, I i felt like it was just it just was so close i feel like it was almost that yeah it was almost there it needed a push it really just yeah. just a little bit just a few little changes here and there and it would have been perfect um 
I agree with you guys on that. Yeah. Mm. And then to I feel like all we're doing is talking about Monster High. So let's talk about a different something new. There's new dolls. The li love I'm going to call them live love dolls love by dolls. Far Out Toys. Um, which evidently there was a little bit of like kind of drama, not really drama, because the dolls were not supposed to be available on Walmart on the day that they came out. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw Ooh. the links and stuff. I was like, and, and the links were up, and people bought them, and they ordered them, and and evidently they weren't supposed to come out for like another week. And I was like, oh well, we love a mistake. Um, so <laughs> kudos to the people who did get them. Um, what do we think? So there are four dolls in the line. They are fashion fo fashion focused, which I feel like every doll line is pretty much fashion focused. <laughs> but um, how are we feeling? Are we gonna get them? Do we think we're gonna buy them? I'm not sure. I need to, I haven't seen that much of them. I know there's been pictures and things going around, but I need to see them in person to fully make a full decision just because something's off for me. I don't know what it is. There's something that's off. I don't Eyes. know if, mm, I think it's also even with the fashion, there's just something I'm not clicking with. It could just be personal style. But I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see. I did see that they're coming out with fashion packs. So I might like those more. Mm -hmm, um, just because I can put them on other dolls. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think we're going to have to wait and see for those for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel the exact same way. To me, they're kind of giving glow up girls where I appreciated them, but oh. I didn't buy them. So I don't think I'm going to get those. But I do agree. I like the fashion packs. There's one... There's like a neon green one that I really want to get. And then there's one with like a, there's a purple, one with like a purple dress. It kind of looks like Isabella from Encanto. So I want that one. So they have the fashion. Where did they, I didn't see the them. pictures. Where are the pictures? They were in the doll group chat. They posted oh, them. Oh, I need to go them. back and look at it since how the Yeah, they, they were oh, really the good. The fashion packs looked really good quality. They wiped Barbie out of the water. But yeah, the fashion <laughs> packs are really good. Yeah, I okay. like them. So. Maybe I think they said they were like around ten twelve dollars. So, how much are they? Like ten to twelve dollars, I think. Which I think is that's a really standard. good deal since that's about the same price as Barbie. And those fashion packs looks like they're made out of really good quality. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. For those. excited. Okay, I'm excited for those now. Now that you you said those, I was like, oh wow, because I haven't seen the pictures yet. I have to go check it out. Um, I, I'm hit or miss with them. I may or may not have said yes to the PR box that they emailed me about. Oh, so expect a video, oh, maybe, <laughs> of me unboxing them if I ever get them. Because sometimes, obviously, with emails, you'll say yes, and then they may not, you know, so we'll see. Yeah. But if I do get them, um, I'll definitely do an unboxing video, uh, and then I'll give more of my opinion. I, I feel like the eye placement is a little weird for me. I don't know what it is, but the eyes are just, I don't know. The, I'm, I not loving, I'm not loving the face sculpt either. I think that's what <laughs> kind of, like, sets me off. Like, I think everything else is great. Yeah, I think they look cute. I think they remind me of America's mm. Next Top Model. <laughs> the box. The, oh, you remember I remember the doll from like. Say, yeah. Yes. Yes. You know what they remind me of? Now that you said that, the star dolls. Okay. Those yeah, I can star see that. dolls. I can see that. Where it was like model S fashion mm -hmm. vibes. That's what that reminds me of. Mm -hmm. And just the style of the box where it has like the outline and like the picture, like it, the placement. It's very like. To early two th mid 2000 2010 era top model esque like start mm -hmm. that kind of wave mm -hmm. of thing. I do like the box. I like the square Which square box. It looks huge, but bad, <laughs> it may not be a bad thing. Like I did see oh my god, I already forgot his name on Instagram. I just started recently following him. And he was saying how like the one looks kind of like boho chic, which obviously that's very much like a 2000, what is that? Like 10 year ago type of trend. But it's cute. And I'm like, okay, maybe they're trying to touch on fashion that has come out within the past decade or so. They're mixing new with old stuff. Like, they're trying something different. I, I'm always excited for new doll lines, whether they last or not. And sometimes they don't. But, you know, at least maybe with the fashion packs, that might drive sales for them to focus on just doing fashion packs for all dolls or something. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> something different. I'm excited. Like you said, I'm excited to see new dolls. It's always exciting to see a new doll come up or new doll lines come up. So that's always fun. And I can't wait to see them in person. That's what I, I'm waiting for, just yeah. to see them in person, you know? Mm -hmm. Excited to see new dolls on the shelves instead of all the really good dolls going on clearance. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Which, just to drag it back onto Rainbow High really quickly, I did see that the swim budget dolls are on sale for like $11. They oh, went from really? 15 to 11 99 yeah. Mm -hmm. So they might drop even more. 
in case you want to guess that (laughs) i know so sad to see some things like because i really thought g3 was going to be doing better but i feel like they're so cheap like on amazon a bunch of them went down to like ten dollars and i'm just like not a good sign i don't don't even think they're selling in my area because every time i go to the store it looks exactly the same like not the the shelves are exactly like with monster high like it's exactly the same like every maybe it's in the maybe it's in the less populated areas Oh, they're just not, it's Maybe not like it's the demographic, that. you know? Because, like, I live close to the city, and there's a lot of people around here, so maybe that's why they're not on sale. And who knows, maybe, like, in a little further mm-hmm. down, one of those little towns, <laughs> maybe they're, yeah. they're Yeah, sale. I could see that. Yeah, like, certain areas, they feel like, oh, we let's put them on sale, no one's buying them, you know, try to push them out. Hmm. Um, I mean, we did touch on a few different things. I know there's other new dolls that have come out, but for us, the three of us, I feel like, yeah, I agree. I'm kind of in my like drought era right now. And I don't know. It makes me a little sad, but also a little happy because then, you know, money towards other things. But I don't know. It's very, very weird times because I felt like last year we're like, woo, adult. And now we're like crickets. <laughs> very opposite. That far, very much that. <laughs> um, But something that we did start last episode that we thought we'd continue more <laughs> is the out of the box moment. All right. So we're ready now to go right into our out of the box moment. And let's start off with Johnny. No. <laughs> okay. But so my out of the box moment, something that has been consuming my life this whole week is Jojo Siwa's new song, Karma. <laughs> it's been everywhere. <laughs> and I've just seen people as Bob, the drag queen, bless bless his heart every single video he's doing like the karma choreo and it's like the most hilarious thing ever i cannot i don't know jojo is is everywhere she is is in her her unhinged era and i'm kind of here for it but also brit smith she sang the karma song so her her version of the song is come has came out i think like Mm -hmm. two days ago three days ago and i i'm gonna say honestly that one's that one's more of a bop that was more of a bop. So shout out to Brit Smith, wherever you are. Oh. You are an icon. And honestly, if that was released back in, I think they said 2012. I don't know. It, yeah, like 10, 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. yeah but that would have been such a bop. That would have been on my playlist. You know what I want? <laughs> so they did the JoJo Siwa dolls, you know, when she was in that era with the bops uh, and no, everything. Can you no. imagine a karma doll? No, I cannot. Yes, I want the karma doll. Her and her oh, kiss my goodness. Up. That's what it looks like. It looks like she's like, doing like a kid's ver- like kid's bop kiss <laughs> yeah that part definitely <laughs> let me not say anything because she was in an interview and she was like how old are you and the the girl was like oh 29 she goes yep you're the you're the age demographic that judges me and i'm just like let me just not say anything about her <laughs> i mean at this point though i want her confidence i saw somebody else posting that they're like I want the confidence that Jojo has during like every interview whenever and somebody walks up to her and asks her about the the album because she's like this is the best thing ever it's gonna be the greatest thing I'm revolutionary all this stuff I'm like you know what that is the confidence we all need in our lives that's what, I, that's what we all need honestly I want to be that level of Delulu every day <laughs> yes every day just every day so I love that Jojo has been consuming your um moment your life it's every other TikTok <laughs> It is. It's her doing the bad choreo or the makeup oh. or someone talking about the makeup or someone talking. There's now a filter on TikTok of the makeup. So people are doing the dance with that filter on. Oh, I have to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, gonna... you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about you, Chloe? Is there something consuming your life this week? <laughs> Dolls. They're always consuming my life. Um, I've just been rearranging them. That's been my little fun little project this week all week uh i was finally able to get a fifth bookcase but i'm proudly able to display all my brats i was able to put my omgs back on display Uh and then all my rainbow high girlies are on these three shelves i need one more i'm gonna get one more bookcase and that's gonna house all of the barbies um unfortunately monster high and ever after high will just have to be in storage so I move out of here. So yeah, that's I mean, just all I've been doing. You don't need walls. You could just have a room of bookcases just in case <laughs> you. You know what I mean? No, like, don't make it like, really small, but <laughs> I was originally this is how crazy I am. I was going to build like in the middle of the room, 
a wall of bookcases so I can put more dolls. Oh my god! And then I was just like, "You're doing the most." Well, I'm building little hallways with bookcases You're in my room. Labyrinth. You're it's no, amazing. Mama. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, I don't need a bed. I don't need anything. I just need my dolls. I'll sleep on the floor. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'll sleep in the little hey, corner in the bathroom. Squish Mallows make great beds, side note. <laughs> they do. I've been that for a week, so I know. <laughs> yeah, so for me, it's just been organizing. A lot of organization. Trying to see who needs a makeover. Trying to I complete that. the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles ad all of a sudden. It's like, you know. <laughs> is that wait, what's Skittles ad? Chase the rainbow. Yeah. No, get the rainbow. Wait, what is it? It's uh, taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Okay, I do. I was getting there. I was. Getting... <laughs> I'm collecting the rainbow. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do a collab. Like, can you imagine Rainbow High and Skittles doing a collab or something? Oh. I feel like that wouldn't even be too oh. like hard to get because like, like a little surprise at all the candy. Yeah. Oh yeah. They came out with that Haribo tween. And then they did like the collab with like the Reese's peanut butter cups and all the other like mm-hmm. candies, you know. A Otter- that would have... rainbow line. Yeah, I could see that. That's cute. Why is that not happening? Hmm. They could have made world one now they're being collector. So friendly, like like kid friendly. Like I could see that working. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's gonna oh. be a collector doll, and you're gonna have to buy a membership and then pay a fifty. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I, I am kind of sad that they, they never gave us a shadow high collector doll. That would have been everything. Yeah. I wanted that. Mm-hmm. You know, I wanted the Jeep. I'm gonna be pressed about that yes. freaking Jeep for years. Oh, the twins Jeep thing. Yeah, that's that. Mm, I'm sad. Especially just like they teased us because like they would always come out with like the list of leaks of what's coming up next, and that Jeep was on there, and they did yeah. just, just never did it. They said we got never a bus, right <laughs> a big, big bus, bus. Mm-hmm. that nobody that's has. On, that's on clearance everywhere. <laughs> uh, I can't say anything. I have one, but like, I do agree. I would have preferred the Jeep. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's well, go. At least, you're, at least you're organizing. You're keeping your dolls in check. You know, you're you're making them look all good. Uh, for me, my out of the box is definitely out of my norm. I guess for me because I haven't really been because as we said, it's kind of like a doll drought. So I've, I haven't been in like my doll obsession, but I'm kind of in like a plushy obsession, which I did go through my sloth collection. I think over a year ago. Because for those of you who don't know, I was super into sloths. I still am. Um, but I have cut back tremendously. And then I was like, look at me. I'm doing so good. I got rid of all these plushies. I'm so good. And then now, <laughs> down that hole. <laughs> down that hole. I, I really have gotten into um like the palm pals. If anybody hasn't seen those, they're so cute. They have like little like pudgy stomachs and they like sit in your hand. They're so cute. Mm-hmm. I've been getting those. I'm really into, and I cannot pronounce it, but if for people watching, I'll put a picture up here. Um, It's by, a line by Aurora plushies and they're super, super soft and they're like eco-friendly and all this stuff. And I've been buying those too. I don't know. That and also I've been thrifting a lot and I find sometimes really good plushies for like a dollar, like expensive ones for a buck. So I've been in my non-doll collecting more of like my thrift plushy collecting vibes right now yeah okay she's in an era she's in a plushy era i am i don't know what it is like they're very soft they're very innocent looking maybe it's also because i'm in such like a high stress stress level right now in my life that when i look at them like i would (laughs) like to be that cute little yeah it's like a peaceful day i'm like i want to be that little squishy brown bunny over there on the couch like (laughs) Just soft, I feel calm, that. I feel that. quaint, complacent. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so I that. I have been posting I, I a lot more like pictures and things of like plushies. And I saw one person comment, they're like, oh, I didn't come here for these kind of toys, but I'm still living for it or something like that. And I was like, thank you. I'm glad you're still appreciating. <laughs> yes. It may This may not be a rainbow hide all that I'm posting, but it's still something cute. Yeah. Kind of cute. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I need to not get into plushies because there was a moment you were you were all about the sloths. I was all about the pigs. I needed every single pig plush that had to stop. I don't have room for that. I can't. I can't. So I try not to dive into those holes because mm, I can't. I, I, love how, I love how we all have different animals. I have seals, <laughs> so like I collect, so like I collect seal plushies. So that's my weakness. No. So we all have an animal weakness i know see i, mine lo- I love how we're on everything though <laughs> like i love how we're all in these like eras 
Mm-hmm. Ovira's in her plush era. I'm in my organizing era. Johnny's in his JoJo era. <laughs> no, the JoJo Siwa era. For the next mm-hmm. episode, I'm going to be wearing the makeup. <laughs> you please, better. Please, you better. If this, if this episode gets a thousand likes, I'll do that. <laughs> please. That would be so good. I would be so happy about that. Honestly, I would do full glam makeup too. I love that style makeup. We're all, we're all just like, like the JoJo Siwa's era's tour. We just do a different JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh like again good good for her you know what i mean like she's out there doing it let her do it and that's how she wants to express herself and she's happy more yeah. powerful her. Yeah. yeah yeah not hurting I mean, anyone i don't really oh. care for it but good for her <laughs> i mean yeah exactly. same <laughs> same yeah. um but anyways let us know what your out of the box moment is down below for everyone watching on youtube <laughs> Yeah, let us know what I mean. Like, is there something that, you know, that people, I'm interested, like, are people maybe also feeling a doll drought, how we kind of Mm -hmm. talked about earlier, and that's maybe they're transitioning into other things that they're collecting, and which for me, budget-wise is great, because like I said, thrift stores, I can find plushies for, yesterday I found some for 50 cents that were really cute, so I was like, you know what? I'm still getting my collecting little moment, but I'm doing it on a cheaper budgety type of uh, level, so... And and also, I'm, I'm interested to hear in the comments, are people going to be buying a lot of these new dolls, like, all the new Monster High stuff and everything. I think a lot of people are. I just don't think it's as much as it was a year and a half mm-hmm. ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're a Monster High collector, of course you're. You know, you're gonna be getting just that. by everything. Yeah. I think we feel it more because we were such like Rainbow High, Shadow High, like fiends. Like we we wanted it all, and I mean, I I still want it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, I think we feel it now more because we were so into that that yeah. with like you know. Hmm. Which is, it's good in a way. It's like, it gives us time, a little fresh breath of air to just like yeah. fix what we have to fix and get what we need to get before the next thing comes out, you know? So, well, I'm not I complaining. Mean, as I've said, like, oh, we're going to wrap up this video three times, but now there's more <laughs> things. I'm like, wait, there's more things. But I mean, they did like <laughs> pictures of the more, again, I don't know if it's completely going to be labeled as Rainbow World or it's kind of like, rainbow world's version of shadow high is the dolls with the um the mermaids kind of snow globe legs you know you know oh, the, yeah, the dolls transparent had the snow legs globe. so i think that's replacing shadow high don't like it don't care for it next <laughs> but okay <laughs> see the the thing the thing about those legs is that i have a novi stars doll with like the same gimmick where it's like clear with like mm-hmm. the glitter and yes. the liquid it's filled so like her leg is no longer have liquid and when i looked at the shelf all the liquid was on the floor Oh, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. hopefully they fixed that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, we stars came out a long time ago, so mm-hmm. just be aware. <laughs> I think over time, it's just not durable, like you said. Like, yeah. I think yeah. over time, they will either break or spill. And the last thing I need is for all my dolls to start getting wet with that oil, water, thingy, whatever that may be. It was not pretty, so, it was like gooey. It didn't, it didn't feel, I don't no. know, it didn't feel like it was it like don't coagulates, I think, over time. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah. look yes. like a snow globe, it looks like gel. On, it's, I don't know. So that, I think, is kind of what's replacing it. I don't know. I'm not here for it either. I have to see him in person, though, because maybe it's a little cuter than the Rainbow World right. glittered forehead dolls that... Mm, but <laughs> we'll see. Mm-hmm. Ah, a lot. We talked about a lot today. It was a good, full, well-rounded episode. If you want to hear more... I hope it was that, long. <laughs> <laughs> I know it wasn't really long. Follow us here, uh, YouTube, uh, wherever you can hear podcasts, Spotify, etc. We're everywhere. Um, and hopefully it won't be another, you know, eight weeks until the next episode. So <laughs> all of that. One can only hope. One can only hope. You know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Bye. bye.